Welcome to our lecture online. In this video, we're going to explore the question, why does a dryer require 240 volts rather than most of the other household circuits only require 120 volts in the United States? I know that there are other countries where, in general, household circuits require 240 volts, but not here. But they do make a special exception. Dryers, for example, they draw a lot of power. A dryer typically can draw anywhere from 1500 to 5000 watts. So let's take an average of about 3000 watts required to run the dryer and get the clothes dry. Well, if we were only using a 120 volt circuit, then we use the equation P equals I times V. Let's solve this for I. We have I, which is equal then to the power divided by the voltage. So we have a 3000 watt dryer divided by 120 volts. Let's see how many amps that would require to run that. And if I can find my uh, calculator, I would be happy. It's right over here. All right. So 3000 divided by 120. Well, that's 25 amps. That's a lot of current. So I required would be 25 amps. So the typical 15 amp or uh, 20 amp breaker would not be sufficient. You would need more of the ability to carry a larger current. So instead, we want a 240 volt circuit. Well, if we now use 240 volts, so if we use 240 volts, notice that will reduce the current required to run the dryer, I being equal to the power divided by the voltage, which is 3000 watts divided by 240 volts. Well, double the voltage means half the currents. You'd only need 12 and a half amps. That is an advantage. And you say, well, why would that be an advantage? Why is that important? Why we don't just stick a, maybe a 30 amp breaker there and use 120 volts? Well, the problem is that the current must also run through the wires and the wires have a certain amount of resistance. And since they have a little bit of a resistance, they will then also dissipate some power. They will consume some power. So how much power will be consumed? Well, let's say that the length of the wire has a resistance equal to 0 0.1 ohms. Then if we use, if we have 120 volt circuit, and that implies then we have a 25 amp current required to provide enough power to the dryer, then the power consumed by the wires themselves would be quite high because the power consumed by the dryer, or not by the dryer, but by hooking the dryer up to the circuit, is going to be equal to I squared times R. So it'll be I squared times the resistance. So the power consumed is I squared R, and then I would be 25 amps, so that would be equal to 25 amps squared. And then we multiply the times the resistance of the wire, which is 0 0.1 ohms, that would be 625 times 0.1, which would be equal to 62.5 watts. 62.5 watts is quite a bit of power dissipated by the wire, which would mean that the wires would get quite hot. And that might even get so hot, and since the wires runs to the 2x4s, the wood of the house and all that, there could be so much heat being generated by the wires having to carry such a large current that you might even start a fire. So if instead you have a 240 volt circuit, if we have 240 volts, then notice you only have 12.5 amps of current, and then the power consumed would be quite a bit less by those same wires. So that would be equal to I square R, but in this case, it's only 12.5 amps that we have to square that times the same 0 0.1 ohm resistor. And notice now we have a current that's only one quarter as much. Whoa, there goes my calculator. All right, so 62.5 divided by 4. Now it's only 15.6 watts, roughly speaking. 15.6 watts, and that's a whole lot less heat being dissipated by the wires, and so therefore the chance of a fire starting is quite a bit less. Another thing that they do when you have big appliances like electric stoves or electric dryers hooked up to a circuit, 
they will actually use wires that have a much bigger gauge, a much bigger cross-sectional area, reducing the resistance. So instead of maybe having a wire that for a certain length is 0.1 ohms, it may only be a half of, half of that 0.05 or maybe even 0.02 or something like that. Again, reducing the power consumption of the wires so they don't get nearly as warm. So the more current we expect to have to uh, has to flow to the wires, the bigger they want to make the wires, the bigger the gauge, the bigger the diameter of the wire, so that there'll be less resistance, and also they have a bigger voltage source, a greater voltage source, so that there's less current required to run the appliance, and again, less current means less power consumed by the wires, and less chance of a fire starting, and that's why it's done that way.